Naval Service Shuttle 209 approaching with a classified delivery. Requesting landing permission. Copy that. Shuttle 209, you are cleared to land at base 17. TK-421, I have a classified delivery for you. Identify yourself. Um... What's up, fellow troopers? I'm TK-421, and welcome to my weekly unboxing and review episode of Imperial Equipment and Gadgets. I'm very happy to say our review table has been updated and is back up and running with a new operating system. Today is the day. Top secret, high-level confidentiality. This baby is so fresh out of the factory that it's still warm. Is it a new thermal detonator? Nope. Is it our beloved updated electric bat? No. It's the one thing we've been waiting for. Something that will never fail us again. A weapon that is so precise we won't even have to aim anymore. I want to properly review this for you, but first, let's see what's in the box. I can't wait to open this. It has been years since the last update and I'm as excited as a Wookiee on Life Day. Before I open this case, let's check for content integrity with a deep package inspection. <clears throat> okay. Great. The content seems to be intact and verified, so let's proceed with opening it. I have this special light knife that was created with some kyber crystal fragments gathered during Order 66 to slice open this bad boy. <laughs> oh, you hear that? Oh, yeah. It comes in this specially designed box. Beautiful, beautiful box that is super durable, that fits perfectly in overhead compartments when you're relocating to other bases or planets, for example. And here it is. Do you want to make a difference for peace in the universe? Join the Empire. Learn valuable skills. Bring order and unity to the galaxy. The brand new standard issue blaster, the E-11. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. Go deep, I OG, oh no. I OG. So, here are some quick facts. Manufactured by Blastech Industries, it's our most modern blaster ever. It replaces the good old DC-15 blaster used and loved during the Clone Wars. Wow, just look at this beauty. You can clearly see the improvements over its predecessor. Alrighty, let's see what else is in the box. Apart from the E-11 blaster, of course, there is also a quick start manual, but... <laughs> Who the f*** reads the manuals anyway, right? So, this baby comes with two plasma cartridges and a tactical light, which can be attached to the side of the blaster. It features three firing modes, lethal, stun, and sting. That should be perfect for most combat situations. <laughs> Imagine a stun buzz Jawa. <laughs> it also comes with a brand new cooling system, which allows for continued automatic fire. And now, check this out. There is an all-new telescopic viewfinder with a new targeting system. You heard right, a targeting system. How sweet is that? Let's check it out. Okay, uh, there seems to be a few minor flaws in the scope. But hey, I can see a little mouse toy. Eh, well, looks promising apart from those glitches, but I'm sure a firmware update will fix that soon. Plastic Industries claims that this targeting system is the most accurate ever. So even troopers like me can improve their hit rate with this sick new scope. Finally, this'll help us to crush the rebellion once and for all. But before we proceed, let me try connecting the blaster to my computer and see if I can calibrate the targeting system. Just a second. Almost there. Oh, what the f What? Piece of shit. Come on. And we're back. Just a little reboot and we're back in business. Maybe calibration isn't that necessary. The E11 also features biometric voice authentication that is coded to your voice only. All you have to do is say, Hey, Blaster. Ready for command. How many shots do I have left? 
sorry. Command cannot be processed. <laughs> okay, must be my accent or the helmet incompatibility. Let's try again. Hey, Blaster. Set Blaster to, uh, stun. Sorry. Blaster Jawas for fun is not a valid command. <laughs> okay, so maybe this needs a firmware update as well. I'll just give you an update in a later review. And finally, let's check out what we've all been waiting for. Yes, fellow troopers, the myth, the legend. Will the new blaster really be as accurate as claimed? I am so excited. So to try out the blaster, let's move over to our state-of-the-art Imperial shooting range. Okay, so I'll be using the new scope to aim at the target at the far end of the shooting range. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Oh, wrong setting there. <laughs> All right, let me fix that. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Woohoo! I've got this. Let's inspect my hit rate. Ah, uh, no. Ah. Uh. Move along, move along. Well, obviously, the accuracy could be a little better. There seem to be some minor flaws that are sure to be addressed in the next Imperial system update. Also, our helmets will surely be updated to properly work with the targeting system and voice control. Alongside the rumored super weapon that the Empire is building. I'd say we're in great shape to destroy the rebellion to bring peace to the galaxy. So, join me next week when I check out a weird new training device that the Jedi used to practice with. Also, new helmets and equipment for our lucky beach boys over at Scarif. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe, and feel free to leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful in the line of duty.